While talking politics with family and friends is considered taboo, a new concept which promises the opposite is popping up at dinner tables across the nation. One America's Rachel Asinas explains. They're breaking the rule, never bring politics to the dinner table. A new concept called Make America Dinner Again is popping up in towns across the country. One dinner host in Arlington, Virginia, Matthew Hurt, explains the mission. The goal here tonight at this Make America Dinner Again event uh, is to bring people of diverse views together, not necessarily to find agreement, but to find the humanity in one another. It goes like this. Republicans, Democrats, and everyone in between apply to be a part of the dinner. The host then chooses a balanced mix of people across the political spectrum for a bipartisan gathering. The dinner is a no-judgment zone. I do agree with you. I mean, I've lived in countries overseas. You can't let every single person in who wants to come here, and I get that. With dinner guests breaking bread. Once we go down that road where we're talking about, well, you know, one person thinks hate speech should be banned, another thinks flag burning should be banned, who's to say? I mean, people are offended by a whole lot of things. Having casual conversations about not-so-casual topics. It's all really upsetting to live in a country where you've been given so been given so many freedoms, so many blessings, to then turn around and, you know, step on the flag or burn the flag and things of that nature. Jump. The point is not to debate, but listen, in hopes of bridging the divide. I'm hopefully skilled at debating people, but this is different. You know, you sort of debate to win, and here we were sort of talking to understand each other. And I thought that's, you know, a Listening and understanding is a valuable uh, is a valuable skill that we don't uh, practice enough. I spend a lot of time on social media and and I see what kind of a is a screen fest and and just how it can be humorous at times, but it can be really hateful. And I've seen some really absurd comments from people, but I think events like this are important. Um, in bridging people together and getting people together to talk about issues and find some commonality. In a world where talking politics at the dinner table could get a little spicy. We're so distrusting of institution, talking about institutional racism, institutional sexism, which I don't disagree that exists. Then why are we giving more powers to these institutions? Hot button issues here are what's on the menu. We had like a really, is really just a normal dinner. It was just us talking together, almost kind of as friends, um, talking about these issues and saying this okay to disagree at the end of the day. I mean, we did find some common ground, but at the end of the day, it is okay to disagree. And I think that's a good takeaway from it. And not only do guests talk politics and respectfully agree to disagree, at the end of the night, they may even laugh it off. <laughs> oh my God, look at yeah, that. Yeah, we're so ready. <laughs> Rachel sent us One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.